Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. You already know what this video is going to be. My unboxing video of all my packages that I just got from my sponsor, Mad Gear. We got two of them right here, but if you guys remember in my last video, I said there was going to be three packages. I So I got a new deck right here that I wasn't expecting. A big box. I think it's full of fidget spinners. But there's supposed to be one more box. The complete, the Extreme X Titanium Scooter. And I have no idea where it is. The tracking number on my phone says the scooter is still supposed to be here today, but then the package guy that came to drop these off said that it might be here tomorrow. I have no idea, so hopefully it does come today. UPS, you guys are clowns. But at least we got something, but since we don't have my complete, I don't really want to ride this deck yet today because I don't want to ride it with SES. I want to ride it with HIC, which is on, you guys already know, the complete that's not here. So I'm just going to unbox these for you guys right now. Let's get it going. Alright, I apologize if the lighting is bad, but you're just going to have to deal with it right now. I'm going to start off with the deck because that's what I'm most excited for. So this is a MFX deck. It's the VX8 Team Edition. So it's 4.8 wide by 20 long. I don't actually know Canada Warehouse had these decks. So I'm excited to finally get my hands on one. Oh, wow. This is really light. Usually VX8s are a little bit heavier, but this one's actually pretty light. Oh, this is a sick colorway. This colorway is fire, holy. The sides are like blue and the head tube's like green, and then it's like dark blue. Here's the bottom. It's pretty nifty. You know what would look fire? If the whole deck was this dark blue color, that would be sick, or the whole deck was this blue color. But you got a mixture of both, which is pretty sick, so. VX8 Team Edition deck, let's get on to this package. Oh my good lord, this one's heavy. What do we have here? There's a lot of stuff in here. First thing that I see is a pair of Mad Gear MFX wheels in oil slip. Which ones are these? Uh, I have no idea which ones these are. Oh, so these are the wheels that come on the VX8 Nitro Extreme, the oil slick one that I unboxed last year. 120 millimeters. I don't ride 120s, so I will probably either hand these over to a friend or if I see someone at a skate park that needs new wheels, you guys are getting these wheels. Then a pack of Mad Gear knee pads and elbow pads. Another pair of elbow pads and knee pads. Got some fidget spinners at the top. And then there's six boxes right here, right in there. Six little boxes, and I think they're all full of fidget spinners. All full of Mad Gear fidget spinners. And yeah, that's all I got for now. I'm really hyped on this deck color, it's pretty sick. Like I said, 4.8 wide, 20 long, 83 degree head tube angle. Decently light. I was gonna drill this one out, but I don't think I'm gonna drill it to be honest. It's it's pretty light I've never ridden a 20 long deck and 19.5 is kind of getting a little bit short for me now So I'm hyped to get on one of these and yeah now I just got to wait for the extreme X to come in so I can put my scooter together I think I'm gonna do this so I'm gonna put the black tie bars that come on the complete on this deck along with the clamp And then I'm gonna put my Aztec Circa fork on here and then I have these root wheels hold on I'll grab them I have these root wheels so I think these will look pretty sick on this deck and I don't know they look okay. It doesn't really match the green or the blue very much, so I might not ride these ones. I might have to put on my white ones. But yeah, guys, that's all I got for right now, and then if my scooter does show up, I will get back to you when that happens. I don't know. You guys will find out in a couple seconds. I'm going to find out hours, weeks, months, years, probably, because I have no idea where that scooter is. And yeah, cover the lens. See you when it gets here. Alright, just like that, I'm back. I literally filmed that last scene you guys saw like four and a half seconds of a gallon ago. I went upstairs, looked outside. Look what's here already. I could have just waited the tiniest bit longer. I have zero patience though. I was literally DMing UPS on Instagram asking where my package was and then I, all I had to do was literally just look outside. So, we're unboxing the complete now. Alright, we got the package. Sorry for the bad lighting again. I'm in a rush and I'm excited and I gotta go cut this deck down. Here it is. Mad Gear VX8 Extreme X with tie parts. Let's get right into it boys. Let's make a simple incision. Might have scratched for ties. Here it is. It's in a bag. Yeah, it's pretty sick. How do I do this, man? I don't know how to get these zip ties off. I've done this like 400 times, but now it's an issue. Urgh. All right, here it is, the bottom half. We got the blacked out deck. This deck is 4.8 wide by 20.5 long. So I'm going with my uncle to cut this one down. That deck that I got over there is 20 long. I'm gonna cut this one down to 19.75. Because if I cut this one down to 20 long, I'm just gonna drill right through the axle hole, which is no good. Yeah, we got the black MFX Afray Fork, 120 millimeter Mad Gear. I think they're called the Syndicate wheels. I have no idea, they're just 120 wheels. And as you guys can see right here, you got the raw axle. This is a titanium axle in the front and a titanium axle 
axle on the back. Yep, it's pretty nifty. We got the deck plugs in here, which I will take out because I don't really like the look of them. Then we got the black Mad Gear titanium bars. You guys know all about these. I have quite a few pairs of them. Honestly, I love these bars. Even if I didn't ride for Mad Gear, I'd probably still ride these bars. Just get the baggies off this real quick. All right, here they are. The Mad Gear titanium bars in black that come on the complete. They come 26 wide by 26 tall. I'm going to cut these boys down to 23 wide and then leave the height because I like 26 high. It's got a slit in them for the clamp. Moving down to the Mad Gear double clamp, the MFX Cobra clamp, and also the titanium clamp bolts, which is real nice, super light. I don't know which deck to ride first, guys. Should I either ride the black deck first or should I ride the crazy colored deck first? Let's call this the Skittle deck. Skits will love that nickname. I don't know which one to ride, man. Black, I love nice, simple black decks, but they also get, actually, every deck that I ride, every deck color that I ride gets boring really easily. I really want to get into not painting my parts as much because as soon as I paint one part, then I either regret it and then one thing leads to another. I paint it again. Coats keep getting thicker and thicker and thicker. And then it just looks terrible after a while. So I don't really want to paint these. So I don't know. Putting the cards over there, which deck I should ride first. But you guys will see at the end of the video. But yeah, guys, I will do a couple cinematics right now to show you all the parts. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed those cinematics. Here are all the parts once again. My uncle just texted me and we can't cut the black deck down until tomorrow, so you already know I'm going to be riding this deck. I gotta go to the store, buy some grip tape for this deck, cut these bars down to 23, put my scooter together, we're all good to go. So I will get back to you when my scooter's put together, I guess. Alright, so it's been about two hours. I got a haircut. I had to put the scooter together by grip tape, cut down the bars and everything like that. But the setup is finally all put together. Here's how it looks. Sheesh. I put the Team Edition deck on, like I said. Looks super good. Might as well do a little scooter check for you guys. I don't have my metal bar ins right now because I forgot to paint them. They're white right now and they'll just look terrible if I put them in right now. But anyways, Vital Grips, my new Mad Gear Titanium Bars in black. Mad Gear MFX Cobra Clamp. Black Aztec Circa Fork. Root Industries Hollow Cores, the isotope version. The Mad Gear VX8 Team Edition deck, 4.8 wide, 20 long. Bob Grip Tape, that's it. I'll show you a nice little drop test right now. So there it is guys, my brand new setup. Literally every single thing on this setup is brand new except for the grips, the brake, and the fork. The grips still feel brand new. Fork, you can't tell if it's brand new or not. Titanium bars, titanium axles, titanium clamp bolts, literal pro. And boys, it wouldn't be a video without getting some clips on it, so we will head over to the park right now. We'll go GoPro mode. All right boys, so we made it down to the park. Setup's looking nice and pretty. Jack, come here. Got Jack Moore, buddy's from Leduc. He's been here all day and I just got here. Yeah. Jared's ginger. You! That's all I can. <laughs> yeah, how about that? You run. Anyways, guys, time to test out this beauty. Let's get her going on GoPro mode. By the way, I had a helmet mount the entire time I filmed the last chest mount video. So, yeah, let's go over to GoPro mode. All right, we're on GoPro mode. Hopefully, this angle's good on my helmet, but uh, I'm not gonna talk. I'm just gonna put some music in over the clips. So, enjoy.
visualize, uh, yeah, we visualize. Right, having the director's Alright, hopefully, all of you enjoyed those clips on the new whip. It was a little bit hard to get used to at first because the deck does feel different because it's wider and a little bit longer. The bars are a little bit shorter, but it's all good. Pretty much used to it now. But enough of that, that's gonna be it for today's video. Huge shout out to Mad Gear, my sponsor, for hooking it up once again with the new parts. Setup, wheels, pads, fidget spinners, deck, complete. Really appreciate it, guys. Make sure to leave a big old like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe for more fire content. Share with your friends if you enjoyed. Follow me on Instagram. You guys know all of the goods. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.